Welcome children. This is a social studies lesson for third standard. Now today we are going to learn about our country India and the number of states and the different states. Now our country has 28 states and 9 union territories. So let's get started and open your books onto page 203. 203. First question. To which state of India do you belong? Your answer will be, no doubt, Kerala, K-E-R-A-L-A. -E Mention two cities in your state. One is Kori Kod, and the second one you can write Trivandrum or Ernakulam or Palakkad, Shornur, but remember they should be cities. Now coming to the text on page 203. India is a big country. It is divided into 28 states and 9 union territories. We have two types of government, the central government and the state government. So as I told you, India is a big country with 28 states and 9 union, union territories. And each state differs in its culture, tradition, food habits and other uh, aspects of life. So it's a diversity that you find in India. And we all speak different languages. Those coming from Kerala speak Malayalam. Those coming from West Bengal, they speak Bengali. Those coming from Uttar Pradesh speak Hindi. So languages also differ. And here the system of government is two types. One is the central government with the head as the president of the country and supported by the prime minister and his team. And each state is governed by the chief minister and his team. So the chief minister and his team is answerable to the prime minister for all activities that take place in the state. Now second paragraph, the central government is responsible for the welfare of the people of the entire country. The state governments take care of the states. So Mr. Modi and his team, they're responsible for the whole country, the welfare of all the citizens of every state. Whereas Mr. Pindrai Vijayan, the Chief Minister of Kerala, is responsible for the welfare of his state, Kerala. That is the difference. Every state has its own capital and its government is based in that city. For example, the government of Kerala has its offices in Thiruvananthapura, the capital of Kerala. The governor, the chief minister, other ministers and senior officers work and live in the state capital. So all the high officers of the state government, they live in the state capital. The central government is based in New Delhi. New Delhi is the capital of India. The president, the vice president, the prime minister, other ministers and senior officers of the central government work and live in New Delhi. So all the main offices of the central government are also located in New Delhi. And all these people the senior officers, the president, the prime minister, the members of parliament, uh, of uh, then members of Rajya Sabha, Lok Sabha, and so many senior officers and ambassadors from different countries who come to India, all of them live in the state uh, capital of India, that is New Delhi. The president of India lives in the Rashtrapati Bhavan. So the residence of the presidents is known as Rashtrapati Bhavan. Now let's go on to page 204. In addition to being responsible for the welfare of India as a whole, the central government takes care of the nine union territories. Of these union territories, the Andaman and Nicobar Islands are the largest in area, while Lakshadweep is the smallest. So there are nine union territories in which Andaman and Nic Nicobar is the largest in a comparison to area and Lakshadweep is the smallest. Now I want you to look at the map on page 204 and you can see India with all the different states and the states have their capitals also marked in them. So your homework for today will be to buy a map of India and looking at this map to mark all the states in the map that you have bought and take a photo and send it to the school WhatsApp number. Thank you. India.
is made up of 29 states and 7 union territories. The states of Jammu and Kashmir, Himachal Pradesh, Punjab, Haryana, Uttarakhand, Uttar Pradesh, Rajasthan and Madhya Pradesh are located in the northern and central regions of the country. Let's take a look at them. Jammu and Kashmir is the northernmost state in India. It has two capitals, Srinagar, the summer capital, and Jammu, the winter capital. Situated in the lap of the Himalayas, Himachal Pradesh has its capital at Shimla. Punjab, the land of five rivers, is situated in the northwestern part of India. Its capital is Chandigarh. Haryana, the green land of India, has very fertile land. Its capital too is Chandigarh. Famous for its natural beauty, wildlife, pilgrim centers and adventure spots, Uttarakhand has its capital at Dehradun. Uttar Pradesh is the most populous state of India. Its capital is Lucknow. Rajasthan is the largest state of India. Its capital is Jaipur. Nicknamed the heart of India, Madhya Pradesh has its capital at Bhopal. The northeastern region of India includes the states of Arunachal Pradesh, Nagaland, Manipur, Mizoram, Tripura, Assam, Meghalaya and Sikkim. Together, they are referred to as the land of the Seven Sisters to signify their shared unique identity. Let us learn a little more about them. Arunachal Pradesh is bordered by Nagaland and Assam in India and shares the international borders with Bhutan, Myanmar and China. Its capital is Itanagar. Nagaland is bordered by the states of Assam, Arunachal Pradesh and Manipur in India and shares the international border with Myanmar. Its capital is Kohima. Manipur is bordered by the states of Nagaland, Mizoram and Assam in India and shares the international border with Myanmar. Its capital is Imphal. Mizoram is bordered by the states of Manipur, Assam and Tripura in India and shares the international border with Myanmar and Bangladesh. Its capital is Aizol. Tripura is bordered by the states of Mizoram and Assam in India and shares the international border with Bangladesh. Its capital is Agartala. Assam is bordered by the states of Arunachal Pradesh, Nagaland, Manipur, Mizoram, Tripura, Meghalaya and West Bengal in India and shares the international border with Bhutan and Bangladesh. Its capital is Dispur. Meghalaya is bordered by Assam in India and shares the international border with Bangladesh. Its capital is Shillong. Sikkim is bordered by West Bengal in India and shares the international border with Bhutan, Nepal and China. Its capital is Gangtok. 
The eastern region of India includes the states of Chhattisgarh, Jharkhand, Bihar, West Bengal and Odisha. Today, let us learn a little more about them. The capital of Chhattisgarh is Raipur. Nicknamed the land of forests, Jharkhand is an eastern state in India. Its capital is Ranchi. Bihar is the third most populous state of India. Its capital is Patna. West Bengal is the fourth most populous state of India. Its capital is Kolkata. Nicknamed the soul of India, Odisha is a state which lies on the east coast of the Indian subcontinent. Its capital is Bhubaneswar. The southern region of India includes the states of Telangana, Andhra Pradesh, Karnataka, Kerala and Tamil Nadu. Today, let us learn a little more about them. Telangana, earlier a part of Andhra Pradesh, is located in southern India. Its capital is Hyderabad. Andhra Pradesh is located in the southeastern coast of India. Although the present capital of Andhra Pradesh is Hyderabad, a new capital city called Amravati is being developed. Karnataka is located in the southwestern region of India. Its capital is Bengaluru. Nicknamed God's Own Country, Kerala is located in the southwestern region of India. Its capital is Thiruvananthapuram. Tamil Nadu is in the southernmost part of India. Its capital is Chennai. The western region of India includes the states of Gujarat, Maharashtra, and Goa. Today, let us learn a little more about them. Gujarat is the westernmost state of India, located near the Arabian Sea. The capital of Gujarat is Gandhinagar. Maharashtra, the third largest state, is located in western central India, with the Arabian Sea on its west. The capital of Maharashtra is Mumbai. It is also the commercial and entertainment capital of India. Goa is the smallest state of India. It is bordered by Maharashtra, Karnataka and the Arabian Sea. The capital of Goa is Panji. The seven union territories are Delhi, Chandigarh, Dadra and Nagar Haveli. Daman and Diu, Puducherry, the Andaman and Nicobar Islands, the Lakshwadeep. Let us get to know more about these union territories of India. Delhi, the capital of India, is a metropolitan city. It is located on the banks of River Yamuna. It is also known as the National Capital Territory, NCT, of Delhi. Delhi became the capital of independent India in 1947. Being the capital of India, Delhi is the political hub of the country. Major ministries of the Indian government are situated in Delhi. Chandigarh, nicknamed the City Beautiful, is located at the foothills of Shivalik Hills. It serves as the capital of the states of Haryana and Punjab. It is considered as the first well-planned city of India and is known internationally for its architecture and urban design. Dadra and Nagar Haveli is located between Maharashtra and Gujarat in the watershed of the river Daman Ganga. Its capital is Silvasa. Daman and Diu is located on the Arabian Sea near Gujarat. It is the second smallest union territory of the country. Puducherry, which is famous for its beaches and churches. The Andaman and Nicobar Islands are located in the Indian Ocean. 
The capital of this union territory is Port Blair. The Lakshwadeep is located in the Arabian Sea. Its capital is Kavaratti.